Well, here we go. So things are heating up in the transfer window this week and Jack Ross has made his fourth signing of the summer transfer window. A loanee, Mark McNulty, a striker six foot tall. Not quite, only five foot ten. He could have been six foot tall, but he didn't grow that big. So he's only five foot ten, only five foot ten. 26 year old from Edinburgh. On loan from Redden. Redden bought him from Coventry after a fantastic couple of seasons at Coventry. Playing 52 games, scoring 28 goals. Absolutely wonderful. He won the playoff final, beating the Exeter. He didn't score in that game, but he was in the, the squad that played. He did start. I'm not sure if he played the full 90 minutes, but he got Coventry promoted to League One. And then Redden came along, snatched him up, and took him to Redden, played 15 matches, scored one goal, but then Redden loaned him out to Hibs last season. 17 games, 8 goals. Absolutely fantastic. You know, acquisition to Jack Ross's team. It reminds me a bit like the King Maguire, that sort of stockiness, that kind of build, that kind of determination, that kind of character, not just the determination, that kind of character. Absolutely wonderful. He's 100%, 110%, works hard, puts the full shift in, you know, he feed up the scraps. He's a grafty, he's a poacher, he's got some great goals. Look at these beauties he scored. As soon as I saw you. Knew you were mine And we'd be together Until the end of time Gotta keep going on Gotta keep going strong Our way You and me You've got a whole lot of history We can be the greatest Really hungry young lad And we've got him on loan for a year I think it's great we need someone to go along Charlie White. He'll feed off the tall Charlie White. You know, like the old Quinn and Phillips quite style. Not quite as good as those two top class players. But, you know, we need somebody to help Will Grigg out. To help Charlie White out. And we've got Kim York as well. who we can score a few goals. And we've got Watt more definitely who can score a few goals. So we've got now, we've got now Mark McNulty. So hopefully he'll score quite a few goals. Between 10 and 20 goals in the season. No pressure. You get no pressure from the Sunderland fans whatsoever. Hope you're settling, you know, and I've seen the passion. I've watched some of your goals on YouTube. The passion when you score the goals. Absolutely brilliant. Stocky, strong lad, great feet. Absolutely good with his head as well. A great player to come to something. I'm really excited about this guy. I'm over the moon. And today, yes, today, our fifth signing. It, the, the deal's been done. A, a, a fee's been agreed. Jack Ross has been after this defensive midfielder all season. Six foot one inches tall. George Dobson, Dobbo is known. He was youth. He was in the youth system at Arsenal. And then Newcastle came in to get him, but he went to West Ham. He, sh he didn't want to go to Newcastle. He went to West Ham. He's great with headers. Great all-round, box-to-box player. Strong, six foot one, only 21 years old. Bags, bags and bags of ability. He's a natural born leader. Is what we need in our team. We need some leaders in this team. He played 66 games for Walsall and he's only scored one goal so that, that that's his weakness. He needs to learn to score more goals but he's only 21 and he'll grow under the guidance of Jack Ross and all his experienced players at Sunderland Football Club. And now we have a wealth of midfielders. We've got Ledbetter, Power, Midgayok. We've got 9 Dobson and Robson. You know, so there's who are you going to start in midfield? It's a conundrum. I said he's 6 foot 1 inches tall, a defensive midfielder but he can also play centre back. You know, and at, at this moment in time, we may need a centre back at some point, and he could be a captain, or become a captain one day. And he's not going to be a loan signing. We're going to buy this bloke, and Oviedo could be on his way out as well. So our left back Oviedo, apparently Club Bruges, is very close to signing this bloke, and our four million a year wage bill could be cut in half to two million, just by getting rid of Oviedo. This is the reason why probably George Dobson being brought in because we're freeing up funds. Freeing up funds, shall I say. So things are getting really excited. It's only one week and two days to go before the before the season starts. Bloody hell. Absolutely amazing. I looked at the weather forecast already because this Saturday is going to piss down all week. Absolutely 30 degrees, two or three days this week. Comes along Saturday, chucking it down with cats and dogs. Next Saturday, 21 degrees, sunshine. First home game in the stadium of life. We've got to be there. We've got to get three points against Oxford. And I've got complete faith in Jack Ross. Great signings in this window. I'm over the moon. I'm confident. I'm right behind the lads. Right behind the manager. And all the new signings. Really exciting. Hopefully, because the defence is sorted out now.
with Mark McNulty coming in. Mark McNulty coming in. We're going to start scoring some goals. We've got McNulty. We've got Maguire. We've got McGeoch. We've got McLaughlin. And we've got McLaughlin in goal. We've got the M&Ms. I love those sweet M&Ms. Absolutely lovely peanuts. I like the peanut ones as well. I know what chocolate ones. Really nice. But we've got the m and m, &M, &M squad. Yeah, the m, &M squad. But like I said, with Mark McNulty, we know what we're going to get. We've got experience. Young, young, I mean, it's basically still 26 years old, but he's really experienced. He spent a lot of time at Livingston, you know, 113 games, 46 goals. Then he went to Sheffield United, 56 games, 14 goals. So he's been around the block a bit for his age, but I've seen some of the goals on YouTube. Strong, attacking, great finisher. And the passion he shows when he scores a goal, it's the fans know, just like the King Maguire does. Two peas in a pod. The M&M's. I'm looking forward to start the season. Well, I'm over the moon with those two. Great acquisitions. And hopefully we can beat Oxford next Saturday when we'll see you at the Stadium of Light. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give the like button a good old smash and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. And we'll catch you next time.